What's up, world? Welcome back to another episode of Just Grow It, the podcast. I'm your host, Big City Gardener. So today we're going to talk about fall gardening. We're going to talk about what you can plant in your garden during the fall season. And we're also going to give you some tips to make sure that your fall garden gets off to a great start. First of all, I know a lot of people when they think about gardening, they always think about spring and summer gardening and sometimes fall gets forgotten, but not here. I actually have my best gardens every fall. When the temperatures drop, uh, I'm able to, to really just enjoy being out in the garden a little bit more. Also, I notice in the fall, a lot of the pest issues that I was dealing with during the spring and the summer A lot of those issues have run their course. So now I'm just left with cooler temperatures and no pest. Ideal growing conditions, if you ask me. Uh, One thing to think about if you're going to do a fall garden is to make sure you enrich your soil again after your spring garden or or your summer garden, I should say. Right. Because we've had things growing in our garden all spring, all summer. Now we want to make sure that we're giving enough food, nutrients, life and feeding that soil food web to make sure that our plants are strong and healthy. Now, with all that talk about plants, what can you actually grow in your fall garden? Well, you should look to grow things like all of your leafy greens. So your kales, your mustards, your collards, your lettuce, your chard, anything like that. Fall is an amazing time to grow your leafy greens. Also, fall is when you grow your best root crops. Well, fall is when I grow my best root crops. So I'll get my best I'll get my best harvest of beets and radishes and turnips and I don't know, carrots, things like that. I always feel like with cooler temperatures, they just grow better. Um I feel like the soil is able to retain more of the moisture and the roots just seem to form better during the fall. And this is just from my garden, my gardening experience. Um, Also, during the fall, we're able to get in some beans, peas, uh, your kohlrabi, your spinach, uh, garlic, onions. I don't know, man, arugula. The list is just long. The list is long. These are all things that kind of struggle throughout the summer with all of that heat. And if you're lucky enough to live where I live down in zone nine, you're also able to get another round of your summer crops. So you're able to get another round of summer squash planted in August. We're also able to get another round of tomatoes, our fall tomatoes. We're able to get those in if we plant them in early August even into September on some of our warmer years. And you're also able to grow things like peppers. As long as you've grown them well in advance and they're large enough, when you transplant them, they will have a a nice jump start on that growing process and you'll be able to harvest some peppers within a couple of months if you do everything properly, right? I plant my peppers in August and I should be harvesting some peppers in early to mid-October. I think that's about it. I mean, you know, there's other things. You know, you have your celeries and and things like that that you also plant in the fall, but I think we basically covered the majority of the crops that you're able to plant in the fall. Also, fall is a perfect time to add fruit trees to your landscape. Uh, If you live down here in Zone 9, I find that when I plant my fruit trees in the fall, they're able to establish their roots throughout the fall and then continue establishing roots through the winter so that by the time the summer hits and it's extremely hot, they've already had a good six months in the ground to start to develop a root system to help them survive all of that heat. Also, in the fall, you can plant a lot of your perennials And herbs. Never forget to plant herbs. It's always the season for herb planting. Well, that's it for today. I hope that was informative. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, you know what to do. Give me a like, follow, subscribe, share, tell a friend, all that good stuff. That's it. Until next time, you guys take it easy and don't forget to just grow it. Before I let you go, I need you to do more than one thing. 
First, I need you to like, comment, subscribe to the podcast. Second, I need you to tell a friend or two about the show if you enjoyed it. And if you have anybody you think I need to talk to, I should interview, send the name over, put it in the comments, or send me an email, I grow at Big City Gardener. And check me out, man, on Instagram and on all social media platforms, Big City Gardener. We out. Oh, almost forgot. Just grow it. <laughs>